Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. As you can probably tell in this one we're doing procedural shattered glass uh, which is cool because it works on not only a plane as you can see uh, but it also works on a sphere or really any object and uh, this is something and I'll explain this node network in a second uh, that we have control over how much the shattering uh, you know affects it and we can also have these lines or not. Um, you're, you're gonna learn a lot in this uh, tutorial so let's get into it. So uh, starting off, I have a basic material uh, for both of these. I'm going to get rid of this light. I have a basic material for both of these, and if you have a basic BSDF and it doesn't look like this, you're probably wondering why does it, you know, why does it not work? Uh, basically, all I did is I have a principled BSDF. I took the roughness all the way down so it's shiny, and I took the metallicness all the way up so it's like perfectly reflective and doesn't preserve any of its color. Okay, uh, this is how you make a basic mirror. To get this to shatter, uh, what we're going to do is, this is similar to a, a previous tutorial I just made, but we're going to use a Voronoi texture. And you can see what Voronoi does is it has this kind of segmented looking uh, map over here. Um, and we're going to utilize this uh, to basically break up our normals. The normals are the... Uh, they're, 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 yeah. <laughs> they're the direction uh, that the reflection is going to happen in. So if we distort those, it's going to distort the reflection. What do I mean? I mean, if we look at our BSDF and then we connect our normal to the normal, nothing happens because it's using our normal coordinates by default. If, however, we then add, we're going to add some contribution to the X, you can see, whoa, uh, we get some uh, shifting. Same thing with the Y and uh, with the Z. Um, instead of this, I'm going to use the color map from the Voronoi. And you can see, because again, this thing is a segmented map, each uh, cell is going to be added a different direction in some sense. Okay? And uh, we can actually control this. So not only can we control like the scale of this and the randomness and all this, uh, but we can actually control the contribution that this is giving. So let's use a scale. And again, what scale does is when it's set to zero, we're basically multiplying by zero. We're saying have no contribution of the Voronoi. And as we increase this, you can see here it's only a little shattered. And as we increase this, it can be shattered more and more and more. And uh, we could even like do some fancy stuff here where we can uh, do a math uh, greater than. So this is a bit in the weeds, but if you take this, and that's what you're here for, it's for the in the weed tutorials. If we take a greater than, uh, we can then use this as the uh, factor so that some pieces are the same and some pieces uh, do change. So here as everything's changing and as we increase it, only some pieces are shattered. Uh, we can control all this stuff. Um, another trick though, uh, that I think is pretty cool is uh, if you notice I'm going to add a bump node and then for the height socket I'm going to use this color again as the height and you can see it basically doesn't change much except now these uh, edges are highlighted. Uh, the reason this works is you can see the bump calculation has these um, basically these lines that is going to be utilized and then we're also using our distorted normal coordinates both of them. So we get kind of like these cells um, that look a bunch more shattered uh, than they did before. So before and after, and I think this looks uh, pretty good. And it's all controlled by single Voronoi and uh, a scale slider. So that's how you make a procedural shattered glass. Uh, hope you learned something. And as always, at the end of these tutorials, I like to promote the ever-living socks. Let's go with socks. Um, out of my Patreon, there's a link in the description. Uh, let me tell you what it's about and why you should join 700 to 800 uh, people that are actively uh, patrons of these uh, channels. Uh, first of all, you get blend files, so you can get this material without making it yourself. In this case, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. <laughs> you know, making it yourself, it's only one, two, three, four, five, six nodes, seven if you include the output. Uh, but in general, every blend I've ever uploaded for the last three, almost four years, uh, you can get uh, for, not for free, <laughs> uh, for your Patreon subscription. So for $5, you can get hundreds of blend files. Also, you can get early access to tutorials. You could have seen this video early. And, wow, that's a corn burp. <laughs> I just ate a, co a corn on the cob. It is messing with me. Uh, finally... Uh, we have exclusive tutorials, and those are tutorials that are only available on Patreon. You can check those out. Um, link in the description. Thank you all active patrons, and thank you uh, for watching this tutorial. 